This map shows the last known movements of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. It took off from Kuala Lumpur at 12.41 a.m. local time and was about to enter Vietnamese airspace when it disappeared from air traffic control screens at 1.22. At some point, it veered off course to the west. It was detected by Thai military radar at 1.28. Thailand did not share this information until 10 days into the search, saying the initial request from Malaysia was not specific. In the early days of the search too, there were complaints from Vietnam and China over the way Malaysia was leading the operation. Some analysts have questioned the level of cooperation within the region. Uh, this relates to past historical events where the Southeast Asian governments had national security threats coming from neighboring regions. Now, these have not been able uh, to move forward due to probable um, uh, threat scenarios that currently still exist. The South China Sea has been identified as a potential flashpoint. It's here that several countries, including China, have competing territorial claims. This incident has also shown how some nations may not necessarily have the capacity to back up those claims or monitor their borders. The Malaysian military said it detected flight MH370 initially as a blip on its radar but did nothing about it as it was not identified as a threat. It is not a heightened state of alertness or awareness, it's not a wartime. So not necessarily everything is being scrutinized. So even the Thailand defense agencies or Malaysian or Singapore or Indonesia, everybody is not in a state of alertness that they will look even at a commercial aircraft which is way, maybe way off its flight path with suspicion. While the extensive search for flight MH370 may not have exposed the deficiencies in defence capabilities, it does perhaps serve as an indication of the level of trust within the region, as well as the limits to potential cooperation. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.